See guys, legitimately, it's a hole in the wall. Rachel, are you ready to go on a run? Are you so ready? Oh, he's so ready. He's so ready. Look at that boy. He's so ready. Conan's ready. Are you ready to go on a run? Yeah, Conan loves running mornings. He loves them. This little man's our little phone holder while we run. Look at those cute little sunglasses. Oh, it is such a pretty day today. I hope it stays this pretty and I hope we stay happy. Oh, that's a good day it's a good day. Pretty house. Alright. I'm excited to start running again. Yesterday was a flop. Morning guys. So I know I said yesterday was my prep day, but I didn't really get anything done with that migraine that I had. So today I'm going to just cut up my chicken and watermelon. So I will cut up the chicken and then I will place it in a bag like this. Usually two breasts I'll put in one bag after they're trimmed. And then I'll just fill up a freezer bag with them. And then I can just pull one little baggie out each time we're going to have a meal. I'll usually save about four chicken breasts to just shred. So um, I'll put those in a crock pot and shut it. But prep day, Garrett's out mowing the lawn and Coleman is asleep. So we're gonna try to get a bunch of stuff done while he's out. So we're here having lunch or at least making lunch. Have some leftover hamburgers from Sunday night barbecue. Courtney is making that everything chicken, just like we have some shredded chicken so we some can kind of have broth, some olive oil, salt and pepper, and garlic. And I just cook it up and shred it and freeze that. That way, if we ever want some just kind of a lunch meat or something like that, and then uh, she cut up some chicken, put it in the freezer so we can barbecue it. We can make it some yummy chicken treats. I'm super picky about my chicken too. Actually, I was gonna vlog how much I cut off, but I forgot. But that's okay. It's quite a bit. It's quite a bit, and I I it's made a. It super. I am super picky. I made a suggestion that we take the. I think that's a good Scraps that Courtney doesn't want, and then we cook them up anyway, and then give them to like Rage or something. Or shoot, I'd probably eat them, but anyway. So that's what we're doing right now. I just got done mowing the lawn and doing a little bit of work stuff this morning. And we are good to go. It's a whole lot better day today than it was yesterday. Yeah. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. There you go. Playtime. Do you love the camera? Garrett over there just working away. Oh, yeah. Coleman and I are just having some playtime. Coleman slept really good last night. He slept from like 8.30 at night until I think 8.30 in the morning. Maybe 9. 9 in the morning. He slept really good. He was a good sleeper, huh? Then he just took about an hour and a half nap. Been good, baby. Guess what today is? Los Ponchos Thursday, except for it's Wednesday. It's Tuesday. <laughs> it's Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! We we never know what day it is. <laughs> oh, the problems of working from home. So there's this place in downtown IF that we are absolutely in love with. It is called Los Ponchos and it's a 
just like a serious hole in the wall like like it's scary but it has it's the best food and it's really it's only scary the first time you go then once you go a couple times it's actually kind of fun because it's like oh their wallpaper is like falling off and there's holes in the roof but it's so good here like it's really good it's, Courtney likes to eat there I never like to eat there cuz it's the experience I don't feel it's fun I don't know, it's just dirty and stuff. It is. It's kind of a crazy, like <laughs> crazy place. But seriously, it's like the the parents don't speak English. They cook in the back. They have a son and a daughter that work the cash register. When you order it, they write it on a sticky note. And then the other one runs it back to their parents and they cook it up for you. It's so ghetto, but so good. Like, I used to hate Mexican food until Garrett introduced me to, like, Mexican food and then I realized I hate American Mexican food mm -hmm. like it's nothing it's nothing alike but real authentic Mexican food it is so good the only thing they don't have is uh, uh, what is it called it's like um, gringas it's a uh, it's like a pork meat oh, don't man. go don't go you're gonna kill us Jeez, I'm never gonna get out of this place. This is our house, like. Hold on. Yeah. I hate driving out of our subdivision. It's like on a pretty busy road, and we always have to drive, like against traffic to get out. Usually, so it's not fun. Usually, it's Los Ponchos Thursday, but we're having to do it on a different day this week because Garrett's gonna be gone on Thursday. We would do it every week. We usually don't do it every week. Okay. In a perfect world, every Thursday would be Los Ponchos Thursday, but let's get real. We've got a kid and we're budgeting, so we can't afford to do that all the time. But usually if we go, we try to do it on a Thursday because it's Los Ponchos Thursday. It's like you're turning into Sheldon Cooper. I'm not sure, but this could be my next, my new Thursday eating place. You know how he has like his eating schedule? Uh -uh. Like. But I do love Sheldon. Thursdays are Thai night. Day. Friday is pizza night. Monday is like Big Boy Burger night. I would love to have a schedule like that. None of that is homemade. You just like get to eat out every... I love Yeah, but they're out. single and they're and college professors. The food. They're single and they're college professors. They're not college professors. They are. They are not. We've uh, had this discussion Big before. Big Bang Theory. They're, they're not. Are. No, they okay, they're work. researchers. They're like yeah, but they're they not PhD. professors. But they don't teach college, so you can't say that they're not college professors. They work at a school in their research and development department, but they don't teach. My point is, he's wrong. They make a lot of money. <laughs> they have a PhD, and they're making a lot of money doing research. Lo and behold, Los Ponchos. Look at this. Look at the candy over there. They just have it like lined with candy. Three chicken tacos. What do you get? I got a quesadilla. Okay, so a little side story. The first time we ever came here, I was like, okay, I'll try Mexican food. I don't think I'll like it, but I'll try it for you. So I ordered a quesadilla, and I was like so shocked because like. Okay, in America, quesadillas are cheese-based tortilla things and you put other stuff in them. But like, these quesadillas have like hardly any cheese, just a little bit of like crumbly cheese. But they're so good. They're so good. It's like, you're gonna die. So, we'll show you what they do. See guys, legitimately, it's a hole in the wall. Look at that. So good. Garrett got himself some tacos. Got myself a harito. These are very yummy sauces. So good. So, so good.
just screaming and yelling just not 30 seconds ago. The power of music. All right, give us a, give us a rundown of this quesadilla. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So it has their Mexican chicken. Wait, pause. We had to leave because Courtney thought that the restaurant was way too hot because it didn't have AC because it's a dive. <laughs> we had a big fan blowing on us and she was like, oh, Garrett, we need to leave. <laughs> we need to leave. It's way too hot in here. I was like, well, yes. But the food is amazing, so give us a rundown of the quesadilla. It's so good. It has like chicken, lettuce. I order it without onions or tomatoes because I don't like those. Avocados, cilantro. They're like, they're real a Mexican cheese, and they're real Mexican sour cream. What's which real Mexican cheese and it's real? It's like the Mexican crumbly sour. white cheese. It looks like Parmesan, but it's not. And then their sour cream is like liquid. It's not fluffy and like thick like American. You know sour what they call cream. that? No. Crema. Crema. La crema. La crema. Garrett knows he lives in Mexico. Pura crema. Come and say you. You're not. You're a little grouchy now. <laughs> so I think Colm is going through a growth spurt or something. We always think he's going through a growth spurt. Like, he's a really good baby. He really is, but like. There's always like one thing each week for a couple days that just makes him not even upset for the whole day but just for like a couple hours a day and then we're like maybe he's girl spurting but this time I really think he is girl spurting because he slept like a full 13 hours last night and then he's taken two couple hour naps today already and he just went down again and he's just like furious unless he like has a bottle and then can go to sleep. And he'll, he's been eating like when he's awake like every hour and it's like pretty much a full full bottle like he's usually he usually drinks about five ounces and he's been drinking a three to four every hour so I think he's gross spurting and I'm worried because I just put him down again I'm worried he's not gonna sleep tonight which is gonna suck because we have to get up super early to take Garrett to the airport and then I'm gonna be alone with him for a couple days so if he's not sleeping well it's gonna suck. Luckily, I probably don't have to get ready or anything while Garrett's gone. I'm just gonna probably bum out at home. I may go out to my parents each night, but like to actually have to get ready, I don't think I'll need to like do anything specifically. I'll get everything cleaned up tonight and just probably veg while Garrett's gone. But I don't know, he's just, he just screams until he has his bottle and then he just falls asleep while he's eating, but pretty much finishes it and then I don't like to hold him while he sleeps. That's probably like very insensitive of me as a mom, but I like him to be able to sleep in his crib. So he actually sleeps better in it than if I was holding him. So I just went and laid him down in it and we'll see how long he sleeps. I know you're not supposed to wake them up. So if he sleeps for a couple hours, I guess we just let him. I don't know, what do I do? All right, we're gonna end the vlog. Garrett's gonna go clean the probation office. And I'm going to work on trying to keep him up because he slept so much today and then put him down. You mean Coleman? Yeah, that's what I meant. Like, keep Coleman <laughs> up because he slept so much today. And uh, Garrett just got done moving a family. Oh, my gosh. So me and Coleman walked over there because they're just on the other side of the block. And I was like, oh, it's been almost an hour. Me and Coleman will go walk over there. I thought Garrett had walked, but he drove. And then we'll walk back with Garrett kind of thing. And I get there. And I was like, have they even started? And I look in their trailer, and it was completely full, like this huge U-Haul, and he still had so much stuff. It was about a 26-foot trailer, and uh, <laughs> he like, it was like from floor to ceiling packed. And he's going and from Idaho to stuff. Florida, so yeah. I was like just kind of there hanging out for a little bit, because the guys were kind of just waiting to see if they needed to still help, or if not, so I just kind of hung out with them. And I heard him call his wife, and he's just like, Honey, um, I don't think everything's gonna fit. And I heard her. I heard it pause, and he's like, "Well, we're trying." And like, <laughs> I know if I was gone and like he was moving, I'd be like, "You darn better make it fit." But there was so much. Yeah, I don't think there was any way. He had all of his tools that like, I mean, he had tool chest and chop saws and 
shop racks and ladders and stuff that he hadn't even put in and so oh yeah so i don't have know to what get they like another trailer or something or i don't know yeah bummer deal but anyways coleman's pretty happy now so i'm gonna i usually go clean with him but i'm gonna stay home keep him up so that he'll hopefully sleep better tonight because we gotta get up early and get it sleeping tomorrow. I'm off to Orange County. I'll be there until Friday. And it'll be great. We'll try to do some vlogs while he's gone um, and have him just send me the clips and all that. Yeah, but if it doesn't work, Orange we might County. just do a big vlog, like, or a big vlog when he gets home. So yeah. we'll see what happens. I know me and Coleman won't be up too much, but just, yeah, like, just budging probably. So. <laughs> Anyways, we're going to call it a night, and we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.